What is going on guys, DBG here. Today we are going to be doing a gameplay here with his this season, Jonathan Isaac Lads, a 6'11 small forward who should be a great player. So only 90 offensive overall, but 99 on defense. Hall of Fame challenger chase down his awful best posting and workhorse with 25 goals, including posterizer. Catch and shoot is a big one to have on goals. Corner specialist. He's a green machine, guard up, anchor, clamps, glove, interceptor, and pro touch. So not much of a post game, but a solid mid-range, solid three ball, solid dunk, really good defense, great length, good speed, two ball acceleration, and good lateral quickness. In terms of price, you're not paying any more than 25K for this guy. Like you're easily, you're getting him for in around 20, 25K. And like, while he's not a budget squad type player, He's somebody that's in that purely in that mid tier. Like he's way like we look at say last week's mid tier players and Larry Markman. I can already tell you for a fact he's better than Larry Markman. Like I don't even have to use Larry Mark. I don't even have to use him to know that he's better than Larry Markman. Larry Markman sucked. I just want to say the most overrated player in all of my team. That guy was just a straight trash can. But Jonathan Isaac. Either basic or MB dribble style, which means you can only get a half decent burst that way. But you don't really want to burst at them. Hot zones in the corners, which is important. Release wise, so chick. He is super, super chick, lads. I'm telling you, like I didn't like by 70 last year. This is I would call this like a this like an 8 out of 10 release. I would say last year's base 70 was like a 6 out of 10 release. I'll say this year feels like base 70 again, but base 70 feels better this year. Fade. 2 out of 10. Again, it's one of the pros. I think it's pro 3. 2 out of 10 fadeaway. But it just feels like with this release, the green window is so big. Whether you're playing meter on or meter off, it just feels like that green window is huge. Um, I'm still way more comfortable meter off, but I play against a lot of meter demons, so. Um, it is what it is with that. You can't really dribble with him this year because even though last year he had slasher dribble style, slasher is still 100 times better than any dribble style this year. My players are incapable of accelerating with bad dribble styles this year. Bad, um, bad behind the back. So I'm not gonna, this year you can't really compare the guy to Giannis. The offensive end anyway. Like he always used to be known as poor man's Giannis. I'll take Thurl over him I'd say. But still you can, you can combo him and Thurl. Have a really nice 3-4 combo. Probably wouldn't play him with the 4 because of his strength, but still. Jonathan Isaac as just a player in this game is super, super nice. I would be very, very um, much on the side of this is a like... I reckon when I make my best players tier list tomorrow, he probably goes into somewhere between the second or third tier of players. Probably, probably closer to that third tier of players. But still, really, really nice. So anyway, now let's go on to a game. So he's a small forward. Um, we're going to play him with Jordan. Because we're, we're going to sell Jordan. <laughs> we're going to sell Jordan. I need Jordan for a big video that I'm going to do on Christmas Day. Um, so yeah, I have, I have to get MT together for a big video on Christmas. Um... But yeah, so let's go into clutch time online. Or we can just play cam. That card is, I mean, I need to get used. To, I need to get all my use out of Jordan while I have him. Whereas Jonathan, Mr. Isaac himself. And at center, look, I do think taco is great. It is taco Tuesday. But we are also, we have also joined Sim Nation. So we kind of have to play Sim Fular. As a member of Sim Nation, that is the one that is the one rule of being a part of Sim Nation is that you have to play Sim Vular. Like you just can't possibly um be a member of a Sim Nation and not play with Sim. Alright. So we're playing against Penny Kobe. His name is Annihilate Bombs. If we beat this guy, I will be so happy. I will be so happy if we beat this guy. All right, we're locking in. We're locking in. Whereas, I, I don't can't find my white headband anywhere, so pink headband it is. Oh, he's got the guys. He's got the squad, I guess. We're putting on the pink headband. 
Yeah, it reminds me of something that's something that SpongeBob would do in a close game, but still, I'll take the pink headband. Pink headband, DBG different. Okay, nice job for him stopping me there. Good defense by him. We haven't back we haven't boxed out. Oh, Sim grabbed the ball. Okay, we're good. We have him. We're there. Oh, hashtag Sim Nation. Great job there by Sim Vula. Come on. Way up. That's such a bad offensive possession that he got bailed out on. He got completely bailed out on that one. The Sim Vular thing could could come back to haunt me though, just because he's a non-shooter. Is he pressing? He's really calling himself a annihilate bombs and he's not pressing. He's not even off ball either. That was not what I meant to do. What the hell was that? Why are you diving on the ground? What the hell are you doing? You didn't need to dive on the ground there. I didn't even press square. He just naturally dived on the ground. And then also I double tap triangle and they threw a, they didn't register one of my taps triangle. Oh, this. I played a game earlier today and I spam triangle three times and nothing happened. And then like four, I legitimately think three, four seconds later, my player just started jumping uncontrollably. So all three of the triangle presses registered at the exact same time. But not when I actually press triangle. There we go. Good shot, Isaac. Come on. Oh, shit with my steal. Yeah, that's good. Apparently not. Lob should be on. Lob should be on here. Oh, that's a foul! You can't just clean someone out of the air like that. Great defense, Jonathan Isaac. That is just getting hoed. Oh my god, that is just getting hoed. That's unlucky. Okay. Dunk it. Or that layup works as well. I try to pump fake. This guy is ultra aggressive. He's like ultra, ultra aggressive. I don't understand why Yan's being guarded by. That's just not even. That's. What? I'm so confused looking at that possession right there. Why would you not just... What? You had position. Why did you get bullied by Penny Hardaway? Great defense. Our board. What? I'm so confused watching this game. His name is Annihilate Bums and he's not very good. Like, he's, he's lucky that I'm running through Jonathan Isaac. And then he also can very much... Did he just jump a simple after three? I stink. Oh my god, I suck. Good. <laughs> this game. This game! He's gonna run right at me and get a freaking foul right now. I just know what's gonna happen. He's gonna run at me and get a draw foul. Nope, he throws the ball directly into my hands. Dunk it. There we go. Good job, Isaac. I mean, Isaac's done well. Game sucks, but Isaac's played well. He just... I didn't press any... I didn't even press the left stick. He ran out of bounds. I didn't even press the left stick. I got the steal. Pressed or one, assuming that he wasn't going to run out of bounds. Like, I think you have to make that assumption that when you're not going to control... When you're not controlling the player, they're going to stay in bounds. I think we all can make have made that assumption before. Great shot, Jonathan Isaac. Come on. This dude's pause cheese, and this guy's so bad. It's actually, it's not, it's funny how bad he is for a name, having the name Annihilate Bums. Like, he just ran through my body. Oh my god. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. Like, he is just abusing a mechanic every single time he touches the ball. He's abusing, trying to find a different mechanic to abuse. He's so, he's so bad, though, this guy. He's really bad. He might beat me, though. He's the fact I'm running through a diamond and that Simbular out right there. Right, defense him. Can't do anything to stop that. That's another offensive board that we gave up just because I don't know. Quick pop. He might leave him open, which he doesn't, but Shea should be open here. 
Got him. We missed an open lap. We missed an open lap. Great steal, great dunk. Like, this guy's terrible. We are just missing, like, open, open stuff every possession. We're gonna be waiting for him. Nah, it's off. He blew it. Yeah, this guy can't shoot. Oh, give me that one, Isaac. Why the hell is his release so slow? He's not tired. He's not tired in any way. Why is he? Was, why did his release slow down on that shot? He's. It was off a catch, and he's not tired. Did we just get a load up? Did we really just get a load up on a shot that was gonna basically game? Free. Apparently not. Good steal. Let's run. Green. Late, apparently. Jonathan Isaac's there. He's wide open. Shoot the ball! Oh my god, shoot the ball when I press shoot. Thank you for hitting that in the end. But I'm like, shoot the ball when I press shoot. Like if, play, if you press shoot and players shot the ball, I like this game would be a lot easier. Okay. He's just running ran through my body. I can't stop that. Like, it's actually not possible. Like, you just can't stop Shaq in a lot of scenarios in this game. Um, I actually want to help off corner. Dot. Ah, oh, load up. How do you get a load up of that pass? A chess pass to a wide open player in the corner, you get a load up. How do you get a load up of that? Why do you call timeout? It's impossible for him to get a shot off. He's going to probably throw the ball out of bounds here. He's just wasting time now. There we go. Maybe that'll get us our momentum. But, like, we literally got a load up on a wide open game where. Like, of all people as well, Shave a Hall of Fame clutch shooter. It's a load up on a freaking game winner. Like, we did everything we wanted. We got him to help off the player we wanted to help off. Like, we, we won the game. Annihilate bombs. You are. You're the bomb right here. That's all I can say. He's the only one that's a bomb. John Thais is so nice, though. Like, this game just not being good can't, like, take away from the fact that Isaac is so good. Like, I'm so pleasantly surprised about Jonathan Isaac. Like, I knew he was going to be fine. I did not think he was going to be this nice. Like, I thought, okay, if I'm rating him at a 10, he's going to be, like, an 8.5 out of 10. He might he might break into that second tier, you know? You know, he's he's thorough good. His release is smoother than Thurl's. No, man. He, he can't dribble like other years. Like, he's not a... He's not, like, a demigod or anything. But, like, he is the best 25k small forward in the game, including um, Thurl. Isaac is so damn nice. I'm so... I thought he was going to be good. I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised at how good he is.